Good morning, Sea Dew switch owners. I wanted to review an issue I had when my boat was brand new. Uh, the boat, you'll get a battery warning light uh, the first few hours. The reason is um, this plastic engine cover right here, this one piece. So you have a Torx bolt there, um, Torx bolt in the back, and three little nuts here. The problem with these is um, this front one, as you see the wiring harnesses coming out here, that front nut, Torx bolt that they're pushing through, is pinching the stator wires. And so what the stator does, the stator is the charging system. Uh, it's basically inside the engine on the crank. And as the engine's running, it charges. So there's no alternator. One way to test this, so if you have a brand new boat and you're having issues, take a simple voltmeter. There you go, put on voltage. Take your positive and negative. I've got the additional larger battery, so mine's slightly different, but I'm just gonna show you. Uh, so just place this on the battery and you'll see your voltage. The 12 volt battery will run around 12 volts. Um, uh, not being powered basically um but when the engine's running and if the charging system is working you should get a high 13 uh up to 14 maybe 15 volts output and that's how it charges the battery and keeps all the electronics running while the boat is running um so if you have an issue if you run the boat and you're under 13 volts if it doesn't move you want to remove uh, the engine cover. So again, with this Torx, Torx here and three nuts, this plastic cover pops off. These hoses just fold out of the way and you can get to it. Um, I'm not gonna take it off right now, but underneath you'll see the wiring harness here. You can't see it from this angle, but there's another harness and it has three yellow wires. Those three yellow wires come from the stator to the rectifier. See the wires there? And then that decides when it's going to charge and how much output and pushes it to the battery. I had to, I found that the bolt, the Torx bolt, cut one of the wires. So I took the wires, I spliced them back. I reconnected them and shrink racked them. Tucked them up and moved them well out of the way of the bolt so it won't happen again. Placed the engine cover back on. And the boat is good as new. It's charging the battery as it should. And that'll avoid a dealer visit. I wouldn't doubt this is going to be type of um, issue going on or recall. I've had a few other members of the Facebook page mention they're having the same exact issue. Um, and the problem is at the factory, someone runs a harness with the engine. They place the engine in the boat. They pop this cover on. And someone has a... Um, uh, an impact and just rent rent and screws the bolts in and in doing so they go right through the wiring harness causing the issue so hopefully that helps some of you if you have any questions uh post them up on uh, youtube or facebook uh c switch owners group and i'll be happy to answer them thank you